Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for dropping by. Hope you've been all right. Catching you up to speed after last episode, we had that 2-1 loss in the Dutch Cup quarters to uh, FC20. Uh, we had a 1-1 draw with Rhoda. Got a goal from Lars McCowie in the 13th minute to put us up 1-0. They got an equalizer in the second half. Uh, we did beat Heracles 2-0. Uh, Aziz Mohammed and Jean-Pierre Harms with goals. Taruta was sent off in the 60th minute, so we were a man short uh, for the final 30 minutes of that match. Uh, then we beat Go Ahead 2-0, McCowie and Sepe Wreckers with the goals. They had two players sent off in a 20-minute span in the first half. And then a 2-0 win over Volendam, uh, McCowie with his second straight game with a goal, and Harms getting on the score sheet for the second time in three games. And they had a player sent off early in the game. So we've kind of caught some breaks. I've also been working in a new tactic. It's hard to evaluate if the tactic is working when we're playing against nine or ten men in you know, in two of the three matches. Granted, we were a man down ourselves in one of those matches, so we'll see. So we're back uh, for Fortuna Sitard, taking a look at the competition. Uh, FC Zwoll claimed the third period and playoff berth, and we are currently three points behind them, four points behind Emmen. So I am still hopeful of a run here, possibly, <laughs> to uh, to win the league. We'll see. But uh, as we learned last episode, oh, no, scratch that, reverse it. I, I just finished recording uh, this week's Bielsa Journeyman ep episodes, and I was looking at the rules there. We are in the second league here, so we are actually going for automatic promotion. I have not looked at the rules. So the top two spots get automatic promotion. So that's what we're gunning for. That would be the best case scenario. Even if we could claim a playoff spot, I'd just rather get automatic promotion, wouldn't you? That's what I would think. I agree with you completely and wholeheartedly. All right, well, we are in third position. We're playing Fortuna Sitar. This will be a big showdown. They're only two points behind us. And here's the tactic. It's basically this a similar 4-4-2, dropping back to midfield to give us a little bit more defensive depth. And I like playing with the defensive mid, and this Volante has been a position since it came out. What was that, FM19? I've really liked that, that position. So we're going to go with it. Uh, we have uh, been challenged by De Bruyne to play him more often. And so we have. We've given him a few starts. If we take a quick look at him, uh, a 6-7, a 7-1, and a 6-9 rating. And he's only 23 years old. So we definitely need to play him. Dahan was the one that was playing there, but he did get hurt, and he's 33. So... You know, I think we're going to go there. Bunu is going to be on the left. Taruta, Nedib is back from injury. He'll be in the center. Barrow continuing to hold down the fort. 27 goals allowed in 28 matches, 11 clean sheets. He has been brilliant. And remember, oh, did you notice that? Four and a half star. He's almost maxed out already. He's been having really good training sessions. And uh, yeah. Our first star, I think, in the making. But he is currently the best player on the club in current ability. And he's one of the youngest players. So that's huge. So glad to have him there. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Toll on the left, Harms, Wreckers in the center, uh, Fady Chelik in the, on the right side. Thanks for that pronunciation tip. Uh, Makawi and Muhammad up top. Bunu's going to take the captain's armband. De Bruyne is complacent. I'm going to pump the fist and go automatic promotion. Let's do that. And I am going to give a quick focus shout. 
We are in the blue and white here. Oh, Fady Chelik beats a tackle. He took a pretty hard tackle there on the ankle. But he does control it. Adzovich makes a run up the left side. Good block by Nedib, who ran that entire right flank with him. And that's our right flank, not theirs. Not a whole lot happening here in the early minutes. Let me just double check. Yep, extended highlights. Oh, I do want to switch this behind the goal. I hadn't recorded any on this series since last week. So usually I do my recording in a, in a day or two and record all three episodes for the week. And then, of course, with everything going on with my mom, I've been trying to stay a little further ahead uh, as much as I can. So, like, I was, I'm out sick today. Uh, actually was not feeling well. Oh, and I think Bonru took him, kept him on sides there. That's Buru, not Bonru, Buru. I think Buru, the left back, kept him on sides. Everybody else was playing up here. Uh, De Bruyne. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it was Bob. I think it was Buru there. That's that's not good. Let's demand more. That drops us into fourth. This is not a good result. This is not what we're hoping for. Come on, boys, pick it up. Pick it up. He's playing a 6-2. McCowie's playing a 6-3. Let's give him some encouragement. That gives him a lot of greenage on the acreage there. Still looking for our first shot, though. I'm going to have to do a tactic change at halftime. We are just getting played off the pitch here. Come on, come on. Oh, you know what I want to do here? I do know something I want to change. We're going to go to tighter marking. Oh, boy, look at that. Burrell comes out and corrals that loose ball. That was a good through pass. I think we got a little lucky. Now, why? Why would you head it over to their team? That is not good. And we have not had a single shot. I'm going to point the finger, show them what you're all about. Uh, we're going to go into tactics. I'm going to come back to this tactic. So Toll and Chelik push up. Wreckers comes up into the central mid, still playing a defensive spot. We'll see if this generates any more business for us. Oh, Chelik went up nicely to get that get ahead on that ball. All right, let's encourage him. Would love to get a shot into the wall by Harms. Wreckers laying back controls it. But we do pick up a couple of shots there, one on target. So that's an immediate improvement. All right, we are going to have to make some decisions here. A 6-1. Toll, you're coming off. We're going to bring, well, I was going to bring Hellstrom on, but he's not on the bench. So this is an attacking mid left. And I don't have anybody that can play there. I'm going to bring Martinez on for him. An inside forward likes to cut in. So, yeah, he'll be all right there because he's right-footed. When he cuts in, he'll be using his right foot. So I think he's okay. Bunu is playing horribly. Let's bring on Sabuni for him. 
I'm tempted to do all three subs here because both of my strikers are kind of stinking up the joint. Problem is, I just brought on Martinez, who would normally be my striker replacement. If I bring Stursix, let's bring McCowie off, and I'm going to bring Stursix on. Yeah, all three subs. Boom. Blow your wad. All at one time. Uh, let's demand more. Come on. I'm going to dial it up to attacking as well. Looks like that went over. Goal kick. Come on, come on. Brow. We've got four minutes of stoppage time. Can we steal a goal here? Nope, nope. Stir six was not, not a good uh, look on your first highlight on video. Offsides. Had to have been offsides. Yep, I think the flag was up over there. Lucky, lucky. De Bruyne, Mohamed. Ruta. Oh, what are y'all doing? That was poor. Only three shots. I think we're going to have a go here. Far from pleased with that result. That's a lot nicer than I would say in real life with that. Stir Six makes his debut. Burrell has been blowing these nine plus training results for a while. Oh, that is not good. So we dropped to fourth. Seven points off the title. Four points behind Zwoll. We've got to go on a run here. We have got to go on a run. Well, I think we go ahead and close out the season, guys. We'll close it out with Emin. So next episode will, will be the season finale. We'll see where we end up. We'll have a good run of games to go over. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. By the way, I just got a subscription notice. And it is J.C. Stewart. Uh, I actually know J.C. He's in uh, one of the Sim Nation leagues with me. One of the uh, sports, uh, football, basketball um, simulation uh text-based simulation leagues I'm in. Anyway, welcome to the channel. We'll talk to you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.